You know, triangles come in all shapes and sizes, and it's sort of fun to be able to look at them and classify what type of triangle it is. And there's a couple of ways of actually classifying triangles. First, I want to show you a way which focuses on the angles themselves in the triangle. So, the first type is the obtuse triangle. These are kind of the, the big ones where you have an angle that actually is going to be greater than 90 degrees. When you've got that, that's an obtuse triangle. An acute triangle, oh, it's so acute. That's when all the angles are small, meaning that they're all less than 90 degrees. A right triangle is a triangle where you have an angle of exactly 90 degrees. And finally, an equiangular triangle, well, that's a triangle where every single angle, all three of them, are exactly the same. So this is a great little classification of triangles into, into a bunch of possibilities. Obtuse, acute, right, and equiangular. Let's take a look at some examples. So here are some triangles, and I want us to see if we can classify them. Well, we're given some angles here, and let's see what we can say. Notice that here we see a right angle right here. So this large triangle, triangle A, B, D, is in fact an example of a right triangle. If we look closely, we see that this angle right here, A, C, B, is told to be, have a measure of 60 degrees. And also angle A, B, C has a measure of 60 degrees. We know that this entire angle right here, D, A, B, is 90 degrees. And we're told that this little sliver of an angle DAC is 30. If this entire angle is 90 and this is 30, that forces this angle right here to be 60. Well, check it out. We've got a 60 degree angle here, a 60 degree angle here, a 60 degree angle here. Triangle ACB is an equiangular triangle. Very, very nice. Now, what about the only triangle left over, triangle ACD? Well, I see this is 30 degrees. And this is 30 degrees in measure. And what is the measure of ACD? Well, notice that this angle right here and this angle right here are supplementary angles. So I know that the sum of the total angle of both of those together is 180. This is 60. If I subtract 180 minus 60, I see 120 degrees. That's bigger than 90. This is an obtuse triangle. Look how we can classify triangles by looking at their angles. 